Welcome back to Storytime with Michael. Chief's birthday did not go as planned. There were a lot of uninvited guests at this party, and now some mysterious stranger showed up. So let's see how this all ends. Don't forget, if you want to be the first to know when the next video of Dogman comes out, subscribe to this channel. Let's get to it. Chapters 9 and 10 of Dogman Unleashed by Dave Pilkey. Chapter 9. The Mysterious Stranger Returns Hey look! Some old dudes are fighting. Let's watch. You're not going anywhere. That treasure chest belongs to me. Oh yeah? Who are you? Who I am is not important. The important thing is what I can do. The mysterious stranger used his mind powers to pick up a phone booth. Huh? What's a phone booth? Beats me. Whoosh! Crash! The mysterious stranger then levitated a stack of newspapers. What's a newspaper? Beats me. Thrust! Bonk! Next, he grabbed a mailbox. U.S. Mail. What's a mailbox? Beats me. Clack! Then he grabbed some other stuff with his brain. Lulu's obsolete goods. What's a fax machine? Beats me. Conk! What's a VCR? Beats me. Smash. What's a Apple Watch? Beats me. Tink. Things were beginning to seem hopeless until Zuzu came up with a plan. Zuzu, no! Um... Hey, that's my orange table. And this overcoat looks familiar too. Property of Chief. Uh-uh. Somebody's got a lot of explaining to do. Hmm. Hmm. Flippy? Why, Flippy, why? What I'd like to know is how. Uh, well, I'll tell you. Earlier today, I was minding my own business when I heard a loud slam. Slam! Followed by a lot of little sounds. Suddenly, my brain began to think like never before. I became aware of universes beyond my own. Soon, I found that I could move things with my mind. I could make stuff bend to my will. I could talk, I could walk, and with a little ingenuity, shuffle, shuffle, snip, snip, I could even pass as human. Hi, Chief. And now, I shall use my super mind powers to steal that treasure ch- Hey, where did it go? That tank thingy took off during your expositional monologue. It went up that mountain over there. I'll get you flat, Petey, if it's the last thing I do. Zoom. Come on, gang, let's follow them in my cop car. Thank goodness for these snow tires. Soon, they reached the top of the mountain. Hey, you guys missed all the fun. Poor little Flippy. He was so excited, he forgot all about how water freezes up here. Uh, I've, uh, I've got, got, got to, to get, get. I just love frozen fish. Ha ha ha. 
Looks like we won, Flat Petey. What do you mean, we? I did all the work. You're nothing but a mooch. I ain't sharing my treasure with you, bub. <laughs> Body snatching for dummies. Hmm. With his last bit of super brain power, Flippy raised the book and speed read every page. Flip, flip, flip. I've uh, j j just discovered how I, I can, can live for, for forever. All I need to, 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 to do is c c concentrate. Flippy calmed his mind and focused. Deeper and deeper, he concentrated. Soon, Flippy's soul was transformed into pure energy. It worked! But I must act quickly. According to that book, I've only got two minutes to transfer my soul into somebody else. Then I can snatch their body and live forever. I think I'll snatch Chief's body. Huh? Run, Chief, run! Go ahead and try. You can't outrun a ball of pure energy. When Dogman heard the word ball, he stopped being afraid and just did what came naturally. Ready or not, Chief, here I come. I'm coming to get ya. Bing! Clomp! Hey, let go of me, Dogman. I'm not a toy for you to play with. Drop me. Drop me right now. My time is running out. Suddenly, Flippy's soul began to get smaller. I'm melting. And smaller. Melting. And smaller. What a world, what a world. And smaller, I'm going... Uh... And soon he was no more. <sighs> Good boy, dog man. Chapter 10, An Ice Ending. All right, Flat Petey, I've had enough of your monkey business. Now get in my car so we can all go home. You mean that car? You destroyed my car! Now how are we supposed to get off of this mountain? You're not. You're supposed to freeze. Let's face it, I won. You see, paper doesn't freeze, but you guys will. Even if you started walking down the mountain right now, you'd still be frozen solid before you got halfway to the bottom. There's no other way down. I've got three words for you guys. Ha, ha, ha. So, do you losers have any last words? Hmm? Hmm? could you possibly have to say? Hmm. Well, spit it out, man. Slurp. <gasps> ah, gross. You got dog slobber all over me. Now I'm all wet and took a cold. Flat Petey was right. Paper doesn't freeze. But wet paper freezes very quickly. <gasps> Thump! Flat Petey was now a thick sheet of ice. Dogman climbed aboard. And soon... Swoosh! Swish! Swoosh! Swish! 
the whole gang zipped to the bottom of the mountain, laughing all the way. <laughs> hey, my obey spray wore off. Ain't you glad you ain't gotta obey nobody no more? I sure am. But there was one person who wasn't glad at all. Hey, you guys froze me and used me like a snowboard. Now I'm all scratched up. You can't treat paper like that. Flat Petey, have you ever played rock, paper, scissors? I'm aware of the game. Why? Ooh. <whistles> Living spray. Because scissors always beats paper. Triple Snippy Rama. Ready? Sheer Terror. Don't get snippy with me. I like big cuts and I cannot lie. Good boy, dog man. You're our hero. Hooray for Dogman! Epilogue. We're going home to write a new story about our adventure. Okay, bye. Well, Dogman, it looks like it's gonna be a long walk home. You know, today was quite a day. Nobody learned anything. There was no atonement, no rebirth, no revelations, and not an ounce of character development or personal growth. It was all just a bunch of mindless action and dumb luck. What I mean is, today was the best birthday ever. Hmm. <laughs> The end. Wow. I mean, that was a birthday to remember. If you want to be the first to know when the next Dogman video comes out and they go on their next adventure, subscribe to this channel below.